Axis three horse slant with a little uh, weekender living quarter in the front here at Hagelid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. All aluminum construction looks to be about seven six tall. Um, estimated about six nine wide looking at the fenders on this thing. So very good uh, like weekend run around type trailer. Um, other than just needing a bath, by and large it's pretty good shape and ready to go. The um, let me get back to the horse area here. Swinging barn doors, obviously, no ramp, so we got a little step up. Some horses load better one way or another. I just like to show you the options so you know which one's the best for you. We've got a rear tack back here with a uh, triple saddle tree. You know, uh, you know, bridle bars, all the all the usual stuff that goes along with rear tack. I like the little uh, little holder pocket scenario that somebody added here. Um, extruded aluminum floor with the rubber matting on it, so you pull some mats out, spray it down, throw the mats back in. Folks added a little bit of padding here and there, and they definitely use this trailer a lot. They got a lot of use out of this trailer, so I can tell you that it's going to hold up because obviously it already has. I do like the easy one-hand operation uh, gates here. Just makes it a lot easier so you don't have to take your hands off your lead rope. Uh, it did not have a, uh, a stud curtain on here, so I took this heavy-duty rubber matting and threw one on there. And I kind of like that, actually. That is a... Uh, that is a low dollar solution to a high dollar uh, object right there. Does a good job because this is thick, heavy duty stuff. It's not going to fall apart. But uh, a horse isn't going to hurt itself if it somehow gets caught up on something and starts kicking that, you know. But it's enough to give a, an animal a visual break point and it provides enough resistance if you hit it that it's not going to, uh, you know, just buckle and, and be completely useless. Um, I do like they put some, uh, they put a face net on that front stall there, probably either for airflow and or animal safety. Um, but you know, the pads are not chewed up. You'll see little spots like this, or maybe their, their harnesses and things had, uh, had bumped the sidewall a few times, but you're going to find that on a used trailer. The point is that everything held up. You haven't seen the roof fall apart, you know, you haven't seen the animal kick through the walls. And they didn't have a chewer. That's one of those things I just, I, I don't know, I, I see uh, every now and then a trailer comes in, you can tell that their horse just chewed on everything, like he's just some, just some bad attitude stud or something like that. Drop windows here for all three stalls, and uh, like I said, we do have a, a little weekend or living quarter up front. Um, I'm estimating about a six foot short wall, not very large. This is a little magnetic curtain door that somebody put in here. You see how it just kind of stamps itself shut. This is cool because you can come and go and leave this open um, without getting a lot of bugs in your trailer. And it's good that you can uh, get the airflow without the bugs because this trailer does not have an air conditioner in the living quarter. That's a big thing I want to point out. Uh, you start uh, saying the word living quarter and folks almost expect an AC, and rightfully so. So I want to make sure I point stuff like that out to you. Now what they do have here though is it is fully lined and insulated so it will help with uh, you know getting too hot or too cold and be, uh, because it does have this nice soft touch liner on here it will help also with sound deadening so if you have a couple horses that like to talk to one another all night it's not going to uh, keep you up all the time. Good uh, extra closet space all the way around here so this actually for a little living quarter has good storage. We have a small um, two-way refrigerator. This is um, either propane or shore power, depends on what you have available. And again, good storage space going on here. Big pocket right there, holy cow. You got another one of those right above the uh, um, refrigerator also. Uh, microwave overhead. I like these little accent inserts. It kind of ties everything in together. Um, you're, you know, you got your little bench when you come in, so you got a spot to eat your bacon and eggs in the morning. Now, what's interesting is this small living quarter does have a bathroom. We do have a shower in here, as well as a toilet. There is a furnace in here, by the way. Um, so, you know, it, this is a good, like, spring and fall uh, type living quarter, say, like, trail riders trailer, if you're going on, like, a color tour or something like that. Not a bad rig. Give us a call, 800-256. 5196. Halet Trailers of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care. Stay safe. Happy trails. Have some fun.